Ready? The way we think of averages comes from astronomy. If, say, 10 astronomers took a measurement of the speed of Saturn, they wouldn't all get the same result. If you take the average, that average was more likely to be true than any individual measurement. Those differences tended to create a bell curve. I don't know if this looks like a bell curve. The big jump that we made is that we began to take that same idea and applied it to people. We had massive explosion of population and no one really knew how to make sense of the mess. It seemed to tame the messiness of being a human being. And while it may have been good for things like insurance and bureaucracies, it was never good when it came to individuals. In education, we still live with the burden of a bell curve. If you had a teacher who was so fantastic that she got every kid to an A level, we would assume it's grade inflation. That's the poison of bell curve thinking. It limits our view of human potential. We just assume it to be true, and we bake it into our tests, we bake it into our classroom environments, and so we make it true. Can I do a mic drop? There isn't a bell curve of ability. There aren't only some kids that can do well. All kids can do well when you create highly favorable conditions. I'm literally dropping my lapel mic. What one kid can do, most kids can do. But you wanna get there, you have to get rid of this bell curve thinking because frankly, and that's why the bell curve is nonsense.